this thing on? Hi there, my name is Megan and I blog at welcome to the zoo.ca and I wanted to show you what we did with our little tiny entrance way which you can see here you're looking at our front door from the inside this is uh, where we come in every day and we used to have some amazing cubbies up on the wall um, for coats and hats and mitts um, we've got three kids occasionally we have four and uh, and we didn't have a ton of space so I'll throw up a picture of uh, what it used to look like and so it was pretty reasonable but um, but it, I mean there was a lot of clutter right so when you walked right in the door all you would see were all these coats and, and mitts and boots and things snow pants and all of that stuff especially in the winter it was a little bit better in the summer but uh, but you know still it was a lot of clutter and a lot to be confronted with when you first walk in the door it wasn't kind of the idea of a calm you know um, welcoming atmosphere that I was I was going for so we did something a little bit different and I'd like to show you what we did we actually were looking for a relatively low-cost solution. So what we did was we put in these um, pantries, is what they are. So I'll take I'll take you a little bit closer here. You can take a look. Um, these are actually just pantry uh, covers or cabinets um, off the shelf from Canadian Tire, and inside they normally have uh, four shelves, I believe. So one down at the bottom and then another one here and here and then of course they're for um, storing your you know cans of soup and and pasta and all of that stuff so instead what we did was we didn't actually put those extra shelves in we just put in the bottom shelf and uh... and have space for our boots and whatever else down below we have the bottom shelf for um, extra shoes and backpacks when the kids come home from school. And then we put in these hooks up along the top. Now they're not very pretty because we kind of salvaged them from our previous cubby system. So, but, and one day I'll paint them and make them look all pretty. But for now, I mean, they're behind closed doors. It doesn't really matter. So we've got two people on either side. So this is my stuff here and my daughters. And then in the other cabinet is space for my two sons. And of course our uh, faux beadboard here is all scuffed and whatever, but I'm not that worried about it anymore since it is pretty much behind closed doors all the time and nobody really sees it but the kids. So, uh, and then up on the top we put um, baskets that again we salvaged from our cubby system and um, uh, that's where they keep their um, mitts and hats and scarves and so on and uh, bicycle helmets and other things. So it's a it worked out really well, and let me show you what I did down below because this, of course, is just a just particle board covered by I think it's a plastic laminate, but I wouldn't necessarily trust it to be waterproof. So what I did was I took our old boot mats and just hacked them apart. They were the right width, but they weren't the right depth. So I actually just cut them right across here, and then slid the two halves together. So you can kind of see there what I did, and just shortened them basically and uh, uh, sealed it with just a hot glue gun. So it's not pretty, but it does the job for now until I'm able to find one that, that fits a little bit better in there. And, uh, and it's going to protect that laminate and hopefully help it to last a little bit longer. So, and uh, the other thing that I, we'd like to add, or that I'd like to add, is just uh, put a couple of, of smaller hooks on the sides here for other things that the kids need to um, store there. But in the meantime, it's like the kids have their own locker, that's what they call them. And um, they've got their own space to keep their stuff contained. And, as you can see, it looks a lot tidier when you walk right into my house. This is from the front door, so instead of that big mass of coats and backpacks and things, all you see is this nice kind of minimalist cupboard. So there you go, that was a nice uh, cheap way to kind of um, contain everything. And I know everybody loves cubbies and mudroom cubbies and so on, um, but you know, this is a great solution too. And it keeps everything hidden and um, so, that, uh, so that you don't have to look at everybody's coats and backpacks and, and boots and all of that sort of thing hanging out. So uh, there you go. I'd love to hear what your ideas are and what, how you keep um, your kids, you know, snow pants and coats and things under control and how you keep them kind of out of sight and out of mind if you don't have a mudroom. If you have a mudroom, oh, more power to you. I wish I was you. But if you don't, how do you keep your stuff contained so that it's not uh, such a big deal at the front door? 
All right, until next time, bye-bye.